Funny group. Okay. Well, hey, listen, we have got some show for you tonight. You will not believe how good it's going to be tonight. This is going to be a show we can be proud of. Well, Robin, it's our second to last show. Yeah. That's right. So and what have you got planned? Oh, man. Mm, man. <laughs> it's going to be great. Let me tell you what we have here. Um, Hooker Price is right. Oh, no. Now, this is the most beautiful concept of all. This is where guys, we found horny guys, yeah. really horny guys, yeah. and they will bid on hookers and try to win prizes. Oh. It's going to be the <laughs> ultimate. It's going to be great, so don't miss that. Hooker Price is right. And uh, don't forget this one. Stacy Galena from Knott's Landing. Now, she's a real honey, i got to tell you that. Now, I don't know her, but she seems to be one of your favorites. She is from Knott's Landing, Robin. Oh. I like her a lot. I fantasize about her all the time. I've even <laughs> masturbated to her oh, image three dear. or four times. And uh, she's real cute, guys. And uh, I'm going to come out here and suggest a little image change for her. Is that right? And perhaps I can convince her to act with me in my version of, not dirty dancing, but sterny dancing. <laughs> so it's going to be great. We're going to sex her up, try and change her image around so more guys will be horny for her. Hmm. You'll see. I'll take over her career. She'll... She has a problem. Yeah, I think she's got a problem. <laughs> she's just not aware of it. All of that, when we come back, don't tune away because it's going to be good. Yeah. the best time together that's why we enjoy this show and hey. now howard forget about it you're not running this show anymore i'm taking over i have a mystery guest i want to introduce you to you are to put on this blindfold get out of here yes what do you yes. mean and put on the blindfold yeah. don't ask questions i hate surprises and we are going to play mystery guest with you because we have someone i hate this someone's going to pay for this from your past uh-huh Mystery guest, enter, will this you please? This is for real, huh? This is for real. At least she says it is. Well, I can hear from high heels that it is a woman. <laughs> yes. And she says she Robin, knows why you. are you doing this to me? Because they told me to. Well, you want to know something? It's a lot better than what we had planned. <laughs> well, uh, you say this is someone from my past? Yes. Can I ask her questions? Uh, go ahead. All right. Um, now, you can disguise your voice so he will get it right away. Okay. All right. Now, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, is that a disguise on your voice? No. Are you nervous right now? Yes. You are a regular person that knew me in high school? I'm um, at that time in your life. Were you a girl that I had a crush on? Yes. Well, I'll tell you something. There were so many girls I had a crush on. <laughs> that doesn't narrow it down. As a matter it? of fact, most girls in high school I had a crush on and I was too shy to talk to them. You didn't go to my high school, did you? No, I didn't. Did I know you from summer camp? Yes. I knew you from summer camp. And, <laughs> and how do you know I had a crush on you? Did you know because I expressed to you that I uh, liked you very much? Yes. Now, what happened? You contacted the show and said you knew me in summer camp and I wanted you very badly? No, the show contacted me. So I must have talked about you on the radio. No, they met somebody that went to camp with us. Yeah, I don't think you've ever talked about her. I was quite frankly shocked. It's and, been 20 years. And you're really sure that I had a... I hope the hell you look good. <laughs> Decent, You're not doing very well. Well, I really don't know how. Uh, now, uh, gee whiz, Robin, I don't know. Now, give me a hint, will you? Give me a hint. Yeah. Um, we spent a lot of time in HQ. In headquarters. Mm hmm. Well, your name wouldn't be. Uh, your name wouldn't be Ruby, would it? <laughs> well, let me ask you this no. now. Did I ask you yes. out? Yes. And I said I really like you, and you ignored me. We did go out. We went out. Mm hmm. At summer camp? Yes, we spent the summer together. We spent the summer together? At... Robin, you have me stumped. Really? Well, she says you worked in the kitchen. Yes, I did. She was a volunteer who helped the kids and the elderly. Attack. Oh, this is Judy? Judy, that's Oh, Judy, is. hey, how you doing, Judy? Hi, whoa, wow, it's good to see you, Judy. Hello, Now, Howard. how did we find you? I can't believe it. Now, how did we... Uh, do you remember Barbara Siegelwax? Well, no, I don't remember Barbara Siegelwax, but I, but I certainly remember you, that's for sure. Now, are you, are you married now? No, I'm not. 
You're Have not. you ever been married? Yes. Oh, you did get married? Mm -hmm. And the guy dumped you? No, I dumped him. Oh, I see. Well, what was well no, but, but uh, Judy, <laughs> was, Judy was with me for quite look, some time. Look, I have a picture of the That's two right. of you together. Oh, <laughs> well, let's take a look at this. Oh, there we are. Very attractive. I look like a young girl, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure who, uh, who Howard is and who Judy is. But uh, there it is. Yes, Judy, now, as I remember, you liked me a lot. Yes, I did. And Judy came to visit me in college that's and everything. Right, that's you spent right. a lot of time with another couple, George and Susie. Yes, George and Susie. That's correct. We did spend some time with them. That's in fact, right. uh, they were in the uh, in the in the room next to us. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun together, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah, we certainly. Now, what did. is this about having sex in the same tent? Well, I don't know if you want to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, we had some sex together for sure. It was pretty good, right? Yes, it was very good. Well, I was a bit of a heel with Judy. I'm glad you came really? on. Sure. Yeah, I was. Me but too. But I, was a bit I brought you a present. Well, Howard. thank you. I really was. I should. I should really say that I am quite embarrassed to be seeing Judy really? because I was. How are you a heel? Well, because Judy and I uh, spent the summer together and we had some fun and mm -hmm. we uh, definitely uh, had some uh, some action going. And uh, well, you know, back then I used to hump them and leave them, right, Judy? <laughs> Didn't I? <laughs> I don't recall how. Well, you know, you know what I mean. I was, I was like a very. Uh, well, how come I've never heard any stories about her? What stories? Well, I don't have any stories about Judy other than we had a lot of fun together. We had a really good time because together. Because it was also good. But I was really? an awkward kind of kid, and then yeah. when it ended, when it came time to end, I wasn't uh, good at it. I didn't handle it with finesse. Am I That's correct? Right. Would you say that I was a bastard? Yes. What did you do? She oh. told me I was a bastard. <laughs> she called me a lot of other names too. <laughs> So you told me that you were very mad at me, weren't you? Yes, I yes, was. Yes, you were, because... You uh, broke my be heart. I oh. broke your heart. How long did it take you to get over me? Uh, a couple of weeks. Really? No, I think a little longer than a couple of weeks. Be honest now, because my wife is watching, and it turns her on to know that other women are upset yeah, about it. Yeah, the first woman who's ever said you broke her heart. I did, didn't I? Yes, he did. Yeah, well, Aww. I was quite a heartbreaker, wasn't I? <laughs> well, look at that picture. Yeah. What a great guy. <laughs> no wonder. Look at that. Oh, man. There you go. Hey, was I good in the sack? Seriously. Tell me something. I don't truth. remember. You don't remember? It was 20 oh, years you ago. I mean, come on. Oh, come on. You remember. He left no impression whatsoever. Oh, oh, that's a lie. Oh, You're out of your no, mind. No. When I banged him, I banged him good. Because <laughs> he doesn't remember the sex. Yeah, don't get too excited. You really don't remember the sex? I don't I believe really that. I remember honestly. the sex, and I remember you were quite wonderful. <laughs> oh, you're such a charmer. All right, we got to go now. This is Judy, everyone, who is one of the few women willing to come on TV and admit to having sex with me. Isn't that exciting? Judy, everybody. We'll be right back. It's a hooker. You bet it's a hooker. Yeah. who I'm here with, the beautiful Marianne Levinson. Look at you, Marianne. Now, you told us that you think the other spokesmodels on our show are pretty damn ugly, and you are better looking than all of them. Is that true? Oh, I don't know if I... Did I say that? I don't think I, I said think that. I think you did say that, didn't you? I did. You think no, you're better looking? I didn't, I didn't say that. Breast implants, yes? No. What? No, are no. those breast implants? No, they're not. Tell the truth. No, no they're not. What? No. What? Not real. Say what? No. Mike Santangelo! Come on! Welcome, everybody. Hello, Robin. How are you? Hi, Bob. Now, I can't believe it. It's great to see our three excited contestants. This is great. Yeah! Woo! Now, I see here, Mike, you are a big fan of the radio station K-Rock. I see your shirt. Mike, when was the last time you got laid? <laughs> last time, um, I, was it last year? I, mean, I was in the Navy last March 1991. Now, you have uh, not had sex in a year. Are you shy? Is that the problem? That's correct. You are afraid to ask out girls. Well, that's, Mike, let's see if you get lucky on the hooker price is right. Now, <laughs> now, Mark, you have been to a hooker, right? Uh, yes. Okay, you feeling lucky tonight? Oh, yeah, very lucky. What happened? Your uncle took you to a hooker? How old were you? I'd rather when? not talk about it. How old were you when your uncle I took you? I was 15 you? in uh, 
San Francisco. What happened? Well, I had a, you know... You, you were aroused? Yes. And what happened? And uh, as a joke, these hookers took out a little uh, ball-peen hammer mm -hmm. and started uh, <laughs> whacking me in my penis. So you're saying that you, your hooker whacked you in the penis with a ball-peen hammer? Wow, wait, that's terrible. Yeah. We have a celebrity in our audience right. tonight, and it's just very fortunate that you got picked to come out here. This, of course, is Fred Rerunberry from What's Happening. Fred has a sad story. He was on. Uh, he was rerun on What's Happening, the famous television show, and not and did not get a dime in syndication. You got no money. No am I correct? And no hooker either. No hooker either. You have never been with a hooker, have you? I've never been with a hooker. I see. And you say you can't afford call girls because uh, you have no money from syndication. I have no money. You have no money. Well, then maybe you'll get lucker on Lucker. Lucker. Hooker. 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 Maybe you'll get lucky on Hooker Price as well. Okay, Robin, let's bring out the first prize up for bid on the hooker price is right. Yeah! Right, and here's Bob. Iris. It's a hooker! There she is. Iris, come on over here. Stand right here. Yes, she's Iris, a 25-year-old streetwalker with 38 double D breasts. Holy oh, Jesus! <laughs> now, Iris, you are really a hooker, aren't you? Yes, I am. And a lot of men come to see you every day. How many men do you uh, see a day? About three. I see. And you come from a broken home. Is that how you got into hooking? Uh, no. No? Your parents no, are together? Am. Yes, they are. And what age did you start uh, being a hooker? At 20. At 20 years old. Now, do you charge by the pound? Because you are a big woman. <laughs> no. no. By the session. By the session. And what are your measurements? Um, 38 double D, 2738. I see. Well, that's uh, very exciting. You know, a lot of hookers were abused as children. Did that happen to you? No, it didn't. It I, didn't? I do know that is true. Right. I see. Well, do you like Where girls you better than guys? So Who do you like better? Yeah, I like cool. guys better. You like guys better than girls? Have you ever been with women? Yes, I have. You are talking very softly. Is there a reason for that? No. No, no particular reason. Now, where can a guy find you? On what corner? Um, 57th and 6th. All right, 57th and 6th. Now, all right, guys, now's the time for the big game. The one that gives me the closest bid to the actual price for straight sex with Iris, without going over, will get to play our first game. Now, contestant number one, what do you think straight sex with Iris is worth? Straight sex with Iris, I think about $300. All right, that's a $300 bid. Remember, if you go over, you're not in the running. Mark, what's your bid? Uh, what position? Would straight you sex with Iris. I'd say about uh, $110. $110. Fred Rerun, Barry, what do you think? I would say $150.59. Woo! Mm-hmm. Well, that's very unusual. Now, let's uh, open up the envelope and find out the actual retail price what for straight price? sex with Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Having hold on. trouble working with those yeah, gloves, Yeah, I mean, Bob. I've got gloves and envelopes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. And the actual retail price is $200. So that means Fred Rerunberry is our winner. <laughs> Come on up here, Fred. All right, Fred. Good for you, Fred. You got to be proud of yourself. I'm very proud. All right, I want to thank you for coming on, Iris, and I'll ask you to take a step backstage, and we'll see you later. Okay, come on over here, Fred. You know what, Bob? Yeah. On regular prices, right, you get to keep every prize you win. Yes, well, on this prices, right, nobody wants to go to jail, so oh, we'll see. see. <laughs> okay, let's bring out our table now, Fred, and see what uh, you're going to be uh, playing with here, okay? And oh, here's okay. our supermodel, <laughs> Mathelia. <laughs> Ouch! All right, now, if you'll notice, on this table... There you go, that's okay. You're not uh, too experienced at this, are you, Mephelia? No, of course not. I see. All right, now, on this table, Fred, are four different items. And, uh, Fred Norris, if you'll tell us about them, let's uh, find out what these items are. You bet, Bob. It's a vibrator, a set of deluxe Benoit balls, a pair of edible panties, and a try-entry blow-up sex doll. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, there you have it. Those are the four items. Now, each of these items has a price tag in front of it. You have to pick the three items that add up to more than $50. Now, if you get the three items that add up to more than $50, you get to keep all the prizes that you've won. Plus, you'll get to bid on our showcase at the end of the show. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the sex doll. 
Sex doll. Well, let's uh, turn that over. Very good. That's $32. You're almost at 50. $32 for the love doll. Okay, the, the Benoit ball. Benoit balls. Let's take a look at that. That's $7. So that's uh, thirty-nine dollars, Robin. Yes, that's thirty-nine. Well, I can't believe that. Okay. Now, Fred, you are you are very very good at this. Uh, do you already own all of these? <laughs> at one time or another. I see. Well, you are a religious man now. You don't go for this kind that's of thing. That's why I don't go for not anymore. All right. Anyway, <laughs> how about the vibrator? All right, the vibrator is twenty dollars easily. That's fifty-seven dollars, fifty-nine dollars. Yes. Fred, rerun Barry, you've done it again. And let me tell you something, Fred, you'll be back later on in the program to bid on our showcase. Good job, Fred. All right, Fred, take a walk back there. And Robin, we're going to be back. We're going to take a break right now, and then we'll call down our next contestant. Here's okay. a break. All right. Call our next contestant, please. Right, Bob, it's Anthony Gallo of Fury. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Hooker Price is Right. All right, we're excited tonight. We have Anthony here with us. Anthony, now you look like a real horny guy. I'm very horny. And do you like hookers? Yes, I do. You absolutely do. Now, I understand here that your hobbies are reading pornography yes, and watching pornography. Yes, it is. <laughs> and you say you once stopped and priced out a hooker. Is yes, that correct? I did. Now, what happened? You didn't go to the hooker. You I didn't just... have enough nerve. You didn't have balls. enough nerve. You don't have enough balls to no. do it. So you've never actually no, paid for sex. No. You know, I'd hate to see the guys we rejected here tonight. <laughs> I really would. Anthony, I bet you want a shot at that hooker showcase at yes, the end I of the do. program. Absolutely. Yes, now, uh, let me ask you this. You say you have a lot of dirty magazines in your bathroom. Do you still live at home? Yes, I do. Does your mom ever see these magazines? No, they don't. I no? have my own. Oh, what do you, oh, you have your own bathroom at, at the house? No, my own home. Oh, you have your own home? Yes. I see. And you live there all by yourself, Yes, obviously. I do. And you've got all your magazines displayed there. When you yes, have, I do. When you finally get a girl over there, don't you think she's going to think you're a bit of a pervert? That nah, you, uh, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, let's play our game, guys. Yeah. Look closely because I want your bid on this. It's a hooker. You bet it's a hooker. It's Miss Lee. That's right. He's a 35-year-old streetwalker uh, who has hooked for the past 25 years. Now, how long have you been a hooker? 25 years. 25 Holy years. Geez. And you know who you remind me of a little bit? Uh, Johnny Winter. Do you remember Johnny Winter? <laughs> All right. Now, you go out. You're a street hooker. We can find you on a street? Yes, you can. And where would I find you if I wanted to have sex with you? 48th and 10th Avenue. 48th and 10th Avenue. Come on over here and take a look at the uh, camera here and talk to us a little bit. Do you come from a broken home? Is that how you got into uh, hooking? No. You mean your parents were uh, okay? I love men. You just love men. Now, how old were you when you became a hooker? Thirteen. Thirteen years old. Now, that's kind of young. Where, where, did you come from a small town? Yes, I did. I see. You and know, most people don't know what they want to do at 13. She you know, right away. You know, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, Robin, I knew at 13 I wanted to do this. Yeah? Yeah. I wanted to stand here in a wig that didn't fit. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. Now, you are a very attractive woman, very beautiful woman. And uh, what are your measurements? Nothing. Nothing up top? 36, 40. 36 and 40. Well, were you ever abused as a child? A lot of You were not, huh? Now, um... Do your parents know what you do? Yeah. They do? Are they proud of you? My parents love me. Why That's good. That's very good. Now, you say in high school you were voted most likely to abort. Am I correct? No, I was. No, you were. I'm just kidding. Were you really? You were valedictorian of your high school? I was. How many people in the class? Three. <laughs> Come on, really, how many? You're an ass. <laughs> no. Anyway. Thank you. I know that. No, really, how many people in the class? There was 22. Wow. wow. You know, it's very funny that someone who was the valedictorian, sometimes you think that they wouldn't go into hooking, but it happens. Am I correct? I was hooking when I was in high school. So. I see. Oh. Now, do you like girls better than guys, or what do you... I, don't, I like men. You I'm like men. Sexual. All right, let's start our bidding with Anthony. Anthony, how much <laughs> is it? Now, now, listen carefully. And use your brains here, Anthony. Okay. He doesn't have any? I think he does. Now look over our beautiful prostitute here and decide how much is it to use all three of Miss B's, that's your name, Miss B, am I correct? Yeah. Yes, Miss B's inputs. Now I'm saying to spend the evening with her, it's called around the world. All three of her inputs. How much would it cost, Anthony? Help. 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 Help
buck 380. Study her knees. They're very beautiful. How much money will you bid? Five dollars. How much? Five dollars. Five dollars. All right, that's your bid. He's crazy. Let's go to Mark next. Mark, what would you bid on Miss B to use all three of her inputs? What should I bid? Ten bucks! Ten bucks! I don't believe them. Uh, I'd say about a $225. $225. I think a date can be arranged. Now, Mike, you've uh, been with a hooker, am I correct? I'll say, Mike, what do you say? I'll say an even hundred. An even hundred. An even hundred dollars. So we have a hundred dollars for Mike. We have two fifty for Mark. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five and Anthony five dollars. <laughs> Which one of these three men are you most attracted to? First, I'd like to moon Anthony. Oh. I would love to have his two and a quarter, but you got it. Boom. Yeah. All right. Jesus. Let's see. Let's see here now. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Don't move. Don't move. It's. It it's says here a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. It was crossed out. Oh, my what? God, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it says $100 on the card. Is that correct? It's $100. Oh. So let's say that Mike is right on the money. Come on up here, Mike. And thank you, Miss B. Thank you. We'll be right back with our bonus showcase round right after this. Price is right. Once again, your host, Bob Parker. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> wow, this is exciting. Now, what could be naughtier than sex for money? We love sex for money, and we've got our big winners standing right here. Let's hear it for Fred and Mike. Now, both of you get to bid on our showcase tonight, and uh, tell us about it, Fred Norris, please. Right, Bob. Our grand showcase starts out with an exclusive private dinner in the WWOR cafeteria. You'll also be able to eat your meal in the company of Iris. Iris is a 25-year-old call girl from New York. She specializes in Swedish sex. And to make it the perfect romantic evening, you'll also receive five porno videos. Ladies loving ladies, Harley girls, and candy stripers one, two, and three. A limo for the evening so you can drive around and watch the videos, a tube of KY jelly, and this sexy lingerie. will be yours if the hooker price is right. Now, this is very exciting. <laughs> so back to me. Very good, Fred Norris. Thank you so much. Now, this is exciting. We're going to be bidding on a showcase. By the way, we're very honored to have Fred Rerunberry, who has lost 100 pounds. Is that right, Fred? That's right. 100 pounds. You know, Robin, I was just saying to Fred how naked he looks without that beret he used yes, to wear. Yeah. He doesn't wear a hat anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, Fred, no, how would you look in that lingerie up there? Uh, I'd probably look a little overweight. Yes. <laughs> Will you be back on TV soon in some kind of series? Yeah, uh, a new show called Family Rap, which is like a black partridge family. I'll be the new dad of the 90s, a la Bill Cosby. Right on. Yeah. All right. We'll all be tuning into that because uh, we need a Bill Cosby for the 90s. That's right. You better Bill, believe it, Fred, Bill and it's leaving. you. We need a new one. You're not kidding. <laughs> all right. Hey, he's up out there. Okay, now, guys, you're going to have to bid on this showcase. Now, this is actual retail value. You have to know the value of these prizes. Remember what you're bidding on. You're going to get dinner for two at the WWOR cafeteria. You guys order whatever kind of entrees you want. <laughs> You'll be able to sit there and eat dinner with the very beautiful Iris who can uh, entertain you. Now, we can't pay for any kind of sex or anything like that. You know that's illegal. Yeah, but illegal. Listen, nobody's going to ask any questions if something goes on. Ouch. So not only will you be in the company of Iris for an hour, and of course you have to figure in her services, then you figure in the price of Harley Girls and all the different videos, the KY Jelly, and this beautiful lingerie, which is very, very nice. By the way, this is a statue of the very beautiful Sally Kirkland. <laughs> There's also a limo in there, Bob. There is a limo there, and I don't know how it got in there. <laughs> but the limo is included in your bid. I guess you drive around and watch the porno movies by yourself. <laughs> but again, again, if you want to invite Iris, okay? So, uh, Fred and Mike, I'm going to ask you to write down your bids right now, and we'll see how much you bid 
on this spectacular hooker showcase. <laughs> Who do you hope wins? Who do you want to share that dinner with, Fred or Mike? I like both of them. You do? Yeah. You go for black guys like uh, Fred Rerun Berry? Yes. He is a celebrity. Did you used to watch his show? Mm -hmm. And you enjoyed him? Yes. I said. Okay, now let's go to Fred Rerun Berry. Fred, what did you bid on this exciting showcase? I bid $550. All right, $550. $550. And Mike, what did you bid on this showcase? My bid was $275. $275. Robin, that sounds a little low to me. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're talking about Just the lingerie. Just the five videos alone. You're think. talking about the dinner at WOR and the and Iris. You know, an hour of her sure. time. Actual retail value. Robin, what do you? What would you? What would you have bid? Mm, I would be closer to uh, Fred's. I would say somewhere around five seventy-five. Actual retail price of this bonus showcase is four hundred eighty-two dollars. That means. Fred Rerun Berry, you went over. Mike is our winner. That's it. Join us next time on The Hooker Price is Right, everybody. See you next time. Don't touch that. There you go. That's good. That's it. Your image is already changing, baby. Hey, look at me, huh? <laughs> Am I happening or what, Robin? I'm with my own TV show, yes. Oh, I tell you, you must be proud of yourself. Wow, what a program. I am very excited about our next guest. I watch Knott's Landing. I'm a big fan of it. Yes. And I you tell are you, a soap opera fan. Yeah, well, not a soap opera. I don't like soap operas. I don't like daytime soap operas. I like the nighttime soap operas, Knott's Landing. And uh, one of the newest starlets on Knott's Landing is yes. Stacey Galena. What's her character name? Her name uh, would be, uh, <laughs> you know what? Start I don't remember. again. What is it? Do you know? I don't know. Somebody know out there? <laughs> Underdog, right. Underdog <laughs> is her uh, character name. Or Vlad the Impaler, I think. <laughs> All right, let's meet Stacey Galena. Yeah, she'll tell us. Stacey, come on out here. Yeah, look at you. All right. <laughs> Man, are you cute. Give me a kiss. Come on, give me a tongue. Yeah, hey, he didn't it. even remember your character name. Don't give you know, me so nice to him. I forget the, your uh, character. Now, sit down for a second, because I've often commented on the air how, uh, you know, I think you're really adorable, you know what I mean? Thanks. I'm really sweaty because we, our car overheated. We got stuck in the, well, we didn't get stuck in the turnpike, but I had, like, claustrophobia. In Let me say something. Uh, one of the things with you is this, and I've said this to you on the radio. <laughs> your problem is, is that you're not really noticed a lot in the acting community. And Is that I, right? Yeah, because first of all, look what she's wearing. You're on a show with a lot of sexy girls. You're dressing down. I know. You're not I... dressing. Take off that jacket, please. Please. I gotta. I gotta ask you to take it off. Because you are a dancer. Is that correct? I you a little penis. A little penis. Oh, look how wild you are. Look at that. Isn't that wild? A little penis. Well, isn't that wild? There it goes. All right. All right. Get that out of here. Now, Stacy, how old are you? Twenty-five. All right. Hey, any of you guys here? Have you ever heard of Stacy Galena before I brought her up? No, no. no, you know why? Because she doesn't portray sexiness. You've got to dance your body. I, well, today I had a wardrobe crisis, too. I, I wasn't going to wear this, and then... I why mean, did you wear a cute outfit? What is it? Look I at those boots. I don't have boots. any socks, and I, I don't have any socks. I mean, you know... <laughs> All right, let me take a look at a sexy scene. Oh, you scene. have that. But yeah, it didn't I give have... you a sexy scene. It's not a sexy scene. She's a good actress and everything, but she didn't do enough sex. I have a suggestion for you for tonight's show. I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Tell me what you think is. I'm going to show you a scene in a minute. All right. All right, I'll show you a scene, and then I'm going to make a suggestion. Here we go. Here we go. Take a look at Stacy at work. Oh, sometimes, uh, when I rub my... See, Robin, look how she's yeah, dressed already. I don't even recognize her. The guy, the guy doing the scene with a William Devane is falling asleep. Oh, he wants wow. to see you sexy. <laughs> He's sexy. showing more skin than she is. Exactly. <laughs> William Devane has a lower-cut top on. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Let's see this. He's probably got a lot on his mind. I'm embarrassing you. Oh, you're not embarrassing me. Absolutely not. I'm not embarrassed. What do you like from women? I... I... See, you're acting like a you're acting like a guidance counselor here. You are a sexy. You are really. Se I watch that show. I masturbate to you sometimes. Oh, I, I do with this hand. Look at this hand. Don't touch that Look at that it. Hand. Don't touch it. You get you get washed. I've masturbated to you. What do you think of that? Isn't I think that it's not, great. Isn't that great? I'm flattered. How yeah, old are you again? Twenty-five. That's like statutory rape. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, You're attracted to me so. at all? Or, uh... So attracted to you. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. I like you better without the glasses. Well, I'll certainly remove those. <laughs> Who cares if I can read what's going on? <laughs> well, let's keep looking at this acting here, and then I've got a really great suggestion for you, and I hope you take me up all on right. it. All right. You sleep with so many women, there must be certain things that you really like. I, I don't remember. Do you like women to touch you? I like women to touch me. Hey, you know that guy? That guy looks like Planet of the Apes, don't he? William Devane? He has changed. He does. He looks like Planet of the Apes. He looks like Cornelius. He does. Hey, John, stuttering John, come over here and do that face. Cornelius from Planet of the Apes. And see if that don't look like Stacy's co star right there. He's a good actor. Watch this. Here you go. Go ahead, do it. Right there into this camera. There you go. That's William Devane. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let me see the rest of the scene. And now, We've after... Seen enough of All right, it. you think Come me saw enough? Good. Yes. So do I. Because That's you know as sexy as it gets? No, 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 let me tell you. I watch the show Not Standing. That's yes. my favorite show on television. Yes, it is. And I know you've had an image problem because people don't take notice of you. I have written a script tonight. I wrote a script. Did you ever see the movie Dirty Dancing? No. You never saw the movie oh, Dirty Dancing? But I know it. I mean, you know I've Dirty seen, Dancing? Yeah. Well, I would be honored to act with you. All right. If you would, would you be willing to do that? Yeah. I think that once you act with me, it will change your whole image. Okay. I want to see you in a little bit sexier clothing. I want to do the scene in Dirty Dancing. You play the young girl oh, from... Oh, no. Oh, I saw baby. that little outfit in there. I'm not going to put that on. Oh, you're... Oh. oh. I didn't oh. see it. What did they oh. have? Oh. Do you know in the scene Dirty Dancing? Yes. Do you know the girl... You know... First of all, the whole country will be masturbating to you. You realize that? They'll be joining me. Now, here's the scene. I am the dance instructor, Johnny Vaselino. Okay. All right? Remember that? Johnny Vaselino is in the dance contest. Yeah. Except his partner gets pregnant yeah. and can't dance in the dance That's contest. That's right. So, Scaby, remember the movie The Girl's Name Was Baby? You'll be Scaby. Scaby comes in. Her father is repressing her. She falls in love with Johnny Vaselino. Right. And, I mean, there's going to be some hot dance scenes in here and love making and everything. Now, Love what is she wearing? Yes. She's wearing a, a, a dancer's leotard, and I'll be in my Johnny Vaselino oh, that's leotard. that's not bad, is it? What's wrong? a leotard, too? Yeah, leotard. What do you say? Want to do it with me? I'll show you the script and everything All during right. the commercial. Let me see the script. You take a look at the script. Because I think as, like, a reputable, I mean, even if I'm not as a reputable actor, you'd have to see the script before no. you would agree. You will see the script. I promise you I have acted with some of the country's top stars from week to week. I have gone ahead and written you a script. It is based on Dirty Dancing. Okay. It is just like the movie Dirty Dancing. Yeah. And when we come back, because none of these guys know who you are. Nobody's seen your work. Okay, but let me tell you, let me ask you this, okay? Yeah. If, let's say I want to go on to do, like, films and stuff after Hot Slanting. So I don't want to get into that nighttime soap, big hair, lot of the makeup, mascara, that kind of thing. Let me sexy. tell you something. I am on nighttime, I have big hair, and I am very sexy. <laughs> He's done all that. I've it done it all, hurt and it hasn't hurt me one bit. <laughs> and let me tell you something. This is not the kind of role where you come off slutty and cheap. Right. You are a young, innocent girl. Let me give you a motivation. Okay. You are coming a young... Into womanhood, you are right? coming into womanhood. <laughs> you want to do it? Yep. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you know I'm horny. Anything just to get into bed with girls. You know what I'm saying? All right, when we come back, the star of Knott's Landing, a woman who I will mold in my own image, Stacey Galena, <laughs> will act with me in my rendition of Sterny Dancing. Where the hell is my dance partner, Crystal? A stupid broad. She should be here by now. We have to get ready for the big dance contest. <sighs> Johnny. What the hell happened to you? I'm sorry. I got knocked up last night. 
<laughs> you got knocked up last night. This is the big friggin' dance in one week. You can't go on like that. What are you going to do, Crystal? What are you going to do, honey? I'll get an abortion, Johnny. <sighs> Quick, outside. I'll push you down the stairs. We'll get rid of the baby. It'll take two seconds, and we'll be ready for the dance contest. Okay, okay. Hey, Hi. who the hell are you? Hi, I'm Scaby. Scaby? Yeah. I'm get out of here. <laughs> What are you doing no, I can here? I to tell you something. I'm rich. I'm 18 years old. I'm a virgin, but I've got a really great ass. And um, is there someone around here that I can have sex with? Hey, Johnny, you could teach her how to dance for the contest. If I have to give one more of these snotty rich bastards a dance lesson, I'm going to puke. Please, please, Johnny Vaselino, please. You grease ball, you lean, mean sex machine. Just teach me how to dance, please. There's a fire in my genitals. <laughs> Why don't you throw some water on it? Maybe it'll be put out. Come on, Johnny. I'll help you. <clears throat> All right. Now, Scaby, let's start out with some basic moves. If you're going to learn how to dance, you got to learn the basic moves. All right? All right. And you got to really be dedicated, because we got to get ready for the contest in a week. Show us some of the moves. OK, Scaby, first. You have to take your leg, put it on Johnny's shoulder like this. Like this. You get your leg up like okay. that. Okay, try no, that. No, you go ahead. Try it. Come on and try that. Put your leg up. Put your, put your leg up. Don't touch that. There you go. That's good. That's it. Your image is already changing, baby. Don't worry. I'm getting to bed in about two seconds. Okay. She's going to end up on the bed. Go ahead. Okay, what else? Okay, the next basic move. You have to put your hands on the floor. Stick your butt to the camera oh like this. You gotta put your ass right to the camera. Go ahead, try that, Scaby. Ah. Try that, see if you can do it. Yeah. Excellent. Very good, excellent. That was very good. Thanks. What else has she gotta do there? Crystal? <clears throat> Crystal, what else has she got? Crystal, you alive? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. You know, this is what happens when we get strippers for actresses. <laughs> it's me. Well, are it's these Stevie. all the basic moves for dancing? No, these aren't the basic moves for dancing. These are the basic moves for getting our ratings up. <laughs> you keep sticking your ass in that camera, I guarantee you, with 35 share. And a whole new image, I'm telling you. Okay, now, Johnny. Yeah. You lay on the floor. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and and Scaby, you do push-ups over Johnny. Like this. Like that. <laughs> like that. You see? Like that. There's nothing wrong with that. You gotta try that. That's for the big contest. I want you to try that. The big contest. Give that a try. Okay. There you go. That's it. A little more. A little more. That's it. Yeah, you're very, very strong. Good. You're a very strong girl. There's nothing wrong with you. Don't worry. Save your energy. What else should she do for the big contest? <clears throat> Am I a horny dude or what? Okay. Now I want you to do a split over Johnny's stomach. A split like over Johnny's stomach. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Try that, please. All right. Try a split over my way. stomach. That's it. Very good. That's it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know that? You're a nice girl. Is there a moral clause in your uh, not landing contract? Okay, all right. Now, take Howard. That's I mean, right. Johnny. Johnny. I gotta tell you something. I wish my character would do more of this stuff on not landing. I know. That's what you need. I'm telling you. You're doing very, very good. You see, that's why you guys always lose in the ratings to L.A. Law. Look, let me dance with you, Scaby. I think that's what we have to practice. And Crystal, you stand behind her and guide her through this, all right? Okay. All right, let me put on the 45. Wherever that is. All right? <laughs> And these are the basic steps. That's it. Head up. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Spaghetti arm. This is my dance space. And this is your dance space. You must keep your dance space separate. Okay. Come on. Now, I don't go into your dance space. Don't go into mine. All right? Now, you've got to hold the frame. Come on. We've got to get this right for the big contest. <laughs> Oh, my. Stop everything. Wait a second. Stop. What's wrong? Stop. I'm about to have my baby. Oh, she's having the baby. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> I have to get to a hospital. Your water broke. Listen, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way to the hospital. <laughs> It's just you and me, baby. It really is. That's it. Does that mean we can have sex now? Man, you're like a rabbit. I swear to God. But no, we got to keep practicing. We can't have sex yet. The big dance is in just one week. I want you to practice. I want you to grind into me. This is dirty dancing. 
Yes, that's it. Okay, now give me your hand. All right. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. It's not on the one. It's on the mambo. It's it's a feeling. It's a it's a it's a throbbing. It's one, two, one, two. Do you feel it? I do. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. You know what? what? You are not bad for a spoiled little brat. Boy, are you hung there? Yeah, I really am hung. Come on, over here on the bench. Some horny little minx. That was the best sex I've ever had. For crying out loud, you know? Huh? You spoiled little brats really know how to put out. So you know why Jews don't wear penny loafers? Because it gives them stiff necks. <laughs> Come on, ain't there any Jews here tonight? Come on, yuck it up, you yinch. Uh, Why Jews wear yarmulkes? Because yeah. those little propellers you know, are extra. Skating, it's all different now. Well, the young people, they don't want to come here anymore. They don't want to foxtrot. They just want to smoke their heroin and hide the salami. Yeah, they make me sick. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's been a real bad summer. My daughter's been seeing that greaseball Johnny Vaselino. <laughs> Had to help some girl with her pregnancy. I think that oily bastard got her pregnant. Him? <laughs> that mishkite? Yeah. I fired his talkers. Yeah. Hold He's on. Damn it, I have something to say. Tim! Look, people. I'm sorry about this disruption, but they try to fire me. But I always do the last dance of the season. And I'm going to do my kind of dancing with a great partner who's not only a terrific dancer, but also a great lay. Scaby, my love. Johnny Vasilino after all. And I love my daughter again. Johnny, Johnny, I had the baby. You had the baby? Let me see it. Come on. Is it too late to get an abortion? <laughs> hey, wait a second. I think you made a duty. Is that right? You made a little duty in your diaper, didn't you? You stupid baby. Oh, oh, man. And so goes the story of sturdy dancing. <laughs>